Hi, this is Stacey Chalemi from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have a very special guest today. He is Mark Fox, and he is an amazing de um, de um, person who has a lot of exciting news to tell us about energy and frequencies and healing the body. But before we begin, I just want to do a quick shout out to DMA World um, Consultant. They are a marketing agency that help little businesses become big businesses. They don't want those little businesses to get scammed by paying thousands of dollars. So they ask that you come to and visit their website at dmaworld.com. Mark is the owner and he'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Okay, so Mark, tell me, a little about yourself and what you do because we talked previously and I got very excited because I, I love this stuff and it's so effective. I'm a total believer. I love it. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me. So it's um my background is done a lot of different things, but primarily was uh, as a rocket scientist. So I'm not a doctor, but I'm <laughs> a rocket scientist and I uh, got involved um, a lot of different things. I went into computers and that kind of stuff. And then like 23 years ago, that dog right there couldn't come up the stairs. She just started crying and like, uh, uh, what's wrong with her? So we took her to the veterinarian and uh, they x-rayed her and she had severe arthritis in her spine, mm. which is awful. And she was fairly yeah. fine. But a friend of mine, uh, Dr. Oz Jackson, he's a super forward thinking uh, veterinarian. He goes, hey, there's this person that has this magic machine that can reverse arthritis. So really, so I scheduled to take her up there. She got too sick too fast. Unfortunately, we didn't get to take her. But that piqued my interest in this machine and energy and frequency. And, and I'm skeptical as I'll get out. I'm a rocket scientist. I'm an engineer. I'm like, this can't be we real. This is magic. And I've been looking at it for 23 years and there's something there. There's just too much evidence and data that, you know, so <clears throat> I didn't get obsessed with it, but I was just constantly kind of looking at it now and then. And yeah, it just, when I found out really that PTSD had such a high success rate with it, it made me angry that right. this is being held hostage in a clinical environment or with expensive machines. So my undergraduate's chemical engineering. I'm not an electrical engineer, but I'm, I'm granting myself an electrical engineering degree after this project because <laughs> so much time on it. You thought it would be, I start off very naively. This will be simple, catching things on fire and hundreds of coils and all kinds of stuff. We finally have a device that's awesome, but it just made me mad. That these they're 10, 15, $30,000 machines. I'm like, there's got to be a way to make something that's more affordable. So that's- yeah. My start off with that, I want to make a dent in the 44 suicides a day, right? So there's 22 military veterans, 15 first responders, five medical workers, and two active duty in the United States. That's not counting the world, and that's not counting civilians out of uniform, right? Right. So there's tons and tons and tons more. And then when you look at it, trauma, PTSD and trauma, they're in the same category. Yeah. And so they're just... A huge amount of that was like, I need to try and get it out in the world. And so that's, that was really the driving force. And then since then, there's, we'll, we can talk about it, but there's 59 different protocols on there. I just expanded it actually. Um, some expansion ones, like 50 of them yesterday from oh, wow. that I found. So um, it, it can do a lot of, a lot of really cool stuff. My goal was, Number one, not hurt anybody. Yes. So I've spent forever looking at, we talked earlier about EMF versus PMF. People get them confused. One's harmful, one's good, right? Yeah. So they get confused between the two. Um, so making sure the energy levels and stuff were safe, looking at everyone else's data, all the research has been done. So that was my number one goal, and it is. It's extremely safe. People that aren't familiar with PMF, it's pulse electromagnetic fields. The earth puts it out all the time. Right. The earth has what's called Schumann frequencies, 7.83, 14.1, and 20.3, I think. So you're engulfed in it all the time. So it's not new and magical. It's been around for billions of years, right? Yeah. So that was it. And I don't want to, my number two goal was, I don't want to sell voodoo. Right. We talked earlier about Facebook haters and everything else out there is, I get it. I don't want to sell something if it's not working for people. So right. I have 
most people will ask me, do you have any research on this? The answer is yes, but I'm not putting it on my website yet because it's not statistically significant. Right. That type of thing. But with PTSD, I have ran my own clinical trials. That data I can defend for sure. Yes. We have a 95% success rate with it, which wow, is hard to believe, but it's, and people go, what do you mean 95% success? How are you measuring that? Well, it's self-reported by PLC-5, which is what the Veterans Administration uses. It's a 20 question questionnaire, zero to four. Mm-hmm. Or four, that'd be the worst. On all 20, it'd be a score of 80. Right. So we measure it by that. So we measure before and after 30 days and 95% of them come down with their score. Wow. That's it. It's two out of three are statistically and clinically significant if you want to get into the nerdy medical. Yeah, group. yeah, yeah. But that's um that's super encouraging. And it's not oh, for sure. about PTSD too many times they immediately go to military and stuff, but I'll tell you more than half of our customers are civilian women with yeah. bad husbands, bad boyfriends, or both, right? Miscarriages, life, kids. Yeah suck, <laughs> you know, all kinds of things. And then the number one thing, most people know, it's the number one cause of trauma in the United States is car wrecks. Oh, really? 44,000 a day or whatever it is. So people are traumatized at that intersection or going yeah. to the front or Makes things sense. like that. It, it's, uh, it's fun. This is the most fun I've ever had. Not making any money yet, but hopefully we will soon. Um, mm-hmm. But it, it looks really promising. Every day I get some unbelievable success story. So, yeah, you know, it, it, it people don't realize, but the the world is 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 run by energy, and energy is 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 such a powerful, um, you know, part of our lives. And you know, like like the the gadget that you created is, is just unbelievable you know people don't realize but the the energy could actually you know change you know help to change people and and help heal people maybe you can go and explain how the process is done because people you know sometimes people you know they don't understand what they can't see and explain you know how it works and why it's so powerful so what one thing is I, I was talking to a good friend of mine who um has got multiple bestsellers and we've kind of bestsellers and stuff. And he goes, Well, you know what you need, Mark, is you need a book. And I'm like, I don't have time to write another book. And it was halfway through the conversation and I went, wait a minute. I, I wrote eight of them three years ago on this. <laughs> nobody cared. And he goes, Well, what's the title of it? And I showed it to him. And it was resonance frequency therapy. And he goes, Yeah, nobody gives a crap about that. He goes, We need a real title that somebody would care about. I'm like, all right, he goes, let me think of one. And he goes, I got it already. What on earth are we doing to our health? I like that. The rocket scientist explores out of this world therapies. So Mm -hmm. I rewrote the book last week, right? And and modified it for that. But to your comment in that book, what I talk about with energy is nothing in the world happens without an energy exchange. You said (laughs) sometimes you can't see it, okay? You're roasting a hot dog on a campfire. That doesn't roast without an energy exchange. Exactly. Um, sunburned, right? You don't get a sunburn without energy exchange, cooking food, the chemistry that's going on in your body. When you fall down the stairs and break your leg, that's an energy exchange between gravity and your leg, right? So yes, everything in the world is an energy exchange and nothing happens without it. Right. I know it's with string theory and all those other things. We're all vibrating energy anyway. So yeah. if you think about it that way, it's not voodoo and weird, it's energy. When people say, how exactly does PEMF work? Um, the answer, here's the answer. I give the doctors when they get real snooty about it. It's like, mm-hmm. what's the mechanism of action? Explain it exactly. Well, you don't know how aspirin works either. Right. You don't know how any drug in the world works. You have theories, but you've never proven it. Right. What has been shown, and this is the main theory, is that PEMF, the magnetic field, it re- recharges your cells' batteries. So the cells in the mitochondria in your body all have mm-hmm. a voltage, just like the car and your battery. And it's been proven yes. that when the voltage drops, you get sick. And it's been proven that PMF charges those cells. The voltage will go back up. Yeah. What does that do? It allows your body to heal itself, regardless of what ailment it is. So that's point one. Point two is ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate. It's the main 
chemical that your cells use for food to eat, to get energy. And this increases ATP up to 500%. So wow. recharge your cells' batteries and it's giving more food to mm-hmm. allow your body to heal itself. That's that's the key thing because there is no drugs involved. Yeah. You can't overdose. If your body doesn't need the energy, it doesn't use it. It just passes. Exactly. So that, that's, that's how we think it, it works. Mm-hmm. Um, but we don't know for sure, right? And I, when I... When I get attacked by that, explain it exactly. I just go, you know what? And I can usually tell in the conversation, it's just go, it's relief before reason. Back to, if I'm not hurting anybody, relief before reason. In my lifetime, I'll never be explaining it in 100% proof, right? And if it works for you, it works for you. Just try it. There's a, anybody that's old enough like me to remember back in the 70s, there was a, a comedian called Rich Hall and he had a thing called sniglets so they were words um that don't exist in the dictionary but should yeah and one of them was bozone bozone <laughs> it's an invisible gas that surrounds people that stops new ideas from getting in right what i really kind of push is no bozone but to answer your question it's an energy exchange it's charging your cells batteries and it's a creating food for it that's the main things that we know for sure and then it gets into all other kinds of things about vagus nerve stimulation and various things, but it, you can't prove that. So I, I try not to spend too much time on it. I, your listeners will get this because they're smart people, but some doctors, I lose them with this. Mm-hmm. Says, Do you know how a slice of pizza gets heated in a microwave oven? And they go, well, it must be a trick question because he's asked me. They go, yeah, I mean, the energy bounces around and it causes, I don't know, energy into the food. I'm like, the theory is you're running just the right frequency in the microwave that is the rotational energy of a water molecule. That means the water molecule is spinning on its own axis, cause, causing friction. Right. Nobody in the world has ever photographed or videotaped a spinning water molecule. <laughs> Probably never will. So it's just the theory of that's how it works. So I try to tell people, don't get so tied up into it. And when people will go, there's no research on it's all voodoo and i'm like well okay there's thirty five thousand published papers on right voodoo. you go to pubmed there's six thousand you'll find the majority of them actually are outside the united states and we can get into why that is yeah uh, want to but a lot of it was done outside the u.s we're the ones the only country that doesn't promote heavily electrical stimulation therapy okay right there's all kinds of double blind studies and stuff out there and it's been proven over and over again, but it's not a reoccurring drug. Right. That it's never going to be the model for the pharmaceutical industry because it's a one-time thing you're buying. It's helping a bunch of people and it doesn't have side effects. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's, so yeah, it's super exciting. Like I said, I'm a rock scientist. I still think it's magic, but I got enough data to say there's something there. It's, right. It's helping people. And a lot of, a lot of the um, different medical technologies and even medications are always done first in Europe. Europe has, you know, and they've had lots of success rates and, and, you know, whatever the laws may be with our FDA, it, they don't, you know, they don't have the same type of, of strict laws in Europe, but they have amazing technology and in some of those countries they are so far advanced with so many different you know um technologies and medications and it, it's amazing you know um i'm not really sure you know why we're we're not you know on the same level as them but you know a lot of the the papers that you were talking about a lot of the information they they are so far advanced in so many ways now you were mentioning yourself that this this could help various conditions not just post traumatic stress disorder but you you were mentioning that it could help lots of other things can you go over maybe some of the things with people that this is useful for sure and just a real quick point on why it's not popular in the united states i'll give you the short answer okay right? Your body is chemical, electrical, and mechanical. Right. In 1934, a thing called the Flexner Report came out and it said, if you're doing anything but drugs and surgery, we're pulling your medical license and we're pulling the funding from the universities. So Rockefeller, wow. some of those guys behind it, and you lost your license. So there was a ton of electrical stimulation research being done in the United States at the time. 
prior to that. Oh. Most of it got lost and scrapped because you didn't have a license anymore and people weren't allowed to study it. And the rich guys in the country pulled all their funding. They owned the equivalent of the American Medical Association at that time. That's why America's so far behind on electrical stimulation. So oh, we're catching see. up, but we're still behind. Uh, other things that can treat, like I said, there's 59 protocols on there. The ones that I've been concentrating on the most is PTSD is number one. Yes. Anxiety is number two because it's the largest ailment for human beings in the world. Yes. Concentrating on anxiety, sleep, mm -hmm. which is a huge, huge factor. And then, of course, pain, whether it's back pain, neck pain, sciatica, that kind of stuff. So those were the four main ones that I've concentrated on. What is getting me excited beyond that is diabetes and blood sugar. Yes. Is we have a specific immune support that drops blood sugar. And I have customers every week send me their glucose monitoring chart. They go, this is impossible. How, how could this have done this? I went from right. 180. It's not possible. So I wish people I get more. I have like 35, 40 video testimonials. I wish I had 4,000. But to get that from somebody is yeah. super hard, especially when it's personal medical stuff. But it's like... I would love to have that kind of study that shows statistically what it's doing for blood sugar. Yeah. Uh, meditation to enhance your meditation. Some of the brainwave uh, protocols are, are super good to help. I get some super good feedback on that stuff that uh, don't have enough data, right? We're trying to collect it now, but stuff is like, what? <laughs> oh, I have two 75 year old women call me and they said they ran general information for three weeks their varicose veins in their legs disappeared. Oh, wow. What? Okay. Here's another one. I had a medical MD, a female MD call me and she goes, Mark, and I'm going to pronounce it wrong, but she's going to go, do you know what vulvatia is? I'm like, no, it sounds like I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I do like vulva female parts. And she's like, exactly. She goes, about 15% of the women in the world have it. It's stabbing, knife pains, itching, burning, and female genitals. I'm like, what? And she goes, I'm running every protocol you've got. And if I find the right recipe, you split the billion with me. That's what she said. I'm like, okay. So there's some cool stuff like that. My Probably my favorite story still, and I've told it multiple times of all time so far. 17-year-old girl on a Zoom call told me, Mark, I've never had a date in my life because I have Tourette's. Um, I'm, a, I'm a monster. No boy is going to ask me out. She goes, I ran brain balancing. My Tourette's disappeared. And I have a really? date. I have a date Saturday night. Oh, wow. I've been dating the guy now for two years and she has not had Tourette's again. Now, wow. that's a statistical end number of 100 people, right? But it's like, yeah. that changed her life. Tourette's went away and she has a boyfriend. Wow. I didn't tell her to do that. I've got doctors telling me, hey, this is kicking butt for MS. And I go, I don't have an MS protocol. What are you running? Fibromyalgia? Yeah. So, yep. So I've, I've, I, I got to be careful because I'm not a doctor, right? But it's every day now somebody emails me or calls me. Do you have anything for RSNC? Right? They make up some four letter acronym or they tell me some, or it's a Latin word that I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like Google it, you don't do that without a cold drink anymore. It's like, <laughs> you can't see the pictures, right? So you go and you go, all yeah. right, this one, you're like, okay, it's inflammation of the whatever, run inflammation. Right. Neuropathy, it's a, it's a nerve issue. Okay, run fibromyalgia. Just today, what are you doing for blood poisoning? Okay, run liver support, right? So there's four or five basic protocols in there that are kind of underlying things. It's like, go try it. I had yeah. a lady tell me she's only every, like every other week, her arms itch so much. She scratches until she's bleeding to death. Literally. Yeah. I go, like, what is it? She goes, nobody knows. I said, well, it sounds like inflammation and allergies. Try those two and see if it works. She did. And they went away. Wow. So doctors didn't even know what it was. Right. So you asked me how, so there's tons and tons of things like that. And in this field, there's a lot of people doing stuff with vagus nerve and some really advanced stuff, which I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a doctor. I'm taking, because people are going to want to know where the protocols come from. They came from 
8,000 practitioners over 35 years playing with it. Yes. Right? So it's essentially their frequency pairs. If you think of them as ingredients mm -hmm. protocols or recipes. So it's just these people taking a little oregano out, add some salt, right? They're changing the frequencies and just playing with it. The reason there's not millions of double blind studies out of that field is because doctors don't publish papers. They treat patients. Right. right. So if you think about that, the practitioners and stuff, they're running, chiropractors are running people through the office. They're not publishing papers that take three years to get. So that's right. Blind, there should be millions of times more data on it, but that's where my protocols come from. I just took those, did something I think that's unique, which is I turned them into songs. We were talking about sound earlier. I'll show you. What yeah. So it's a, it's a MP3 player, but it doesn't have a speaker. It has coils. Oh, wow. So the actual protocols are songs. They're MP3. So I actually take the protocols that we just talked about for the last three, five years, and I use a music synthesizer, which I don't play music. I wish I did but I use a music synthesizer to build an MP3. So that's what the device actually is. It's an MP3 player and it looks like the original iPod on purpose for familiarity, right? Yeah. For people that are old like me, I purposely made it look like a Star Trek tricorder. <laughs> Those little bars are right there. Oh, how cool. I love it. That's what the Star Trek tricorder used to be where bones would go and make somebody, you know, analyze them and then make the bad stuff go away so but yeah there's lots and lots of protocols on there those i touched on a few of them so more than a few a half a dozen now how could you how do you exactly use it so you get this this product in the mail now now what how do you use it and i've tried my hardest to make this so ridiculously easy and there's still a challenge you turn it on it's going to be mm -hmm. an alphabetical order okay or you go, if you want to go to wound healing, go backwards, you go like this, you hit play, and you put it in your pocket. Oh, wow. That's it? Or you wear a lanyard around your neck. That's it. Wow. So you turn it on, pick what you want, hit play, put it in your pocket. Now, I gave up trying to tell women not to put it in their bra because half of the women- metal? No, I just- I thought it would get too warm in there. And apparently women put all kinds of stuff in their bra. So <laughs> put, up on that say, put it in your bra. I don't care. It's funny because when they call, they email me or call me, they'll go, usually they email me and they'll go, mine got wet. What can I do about it? I go, well, in the future, don't drop it in the toilet. <laughs> well, are you a psychic? How did you know it went in the toilet? I go, because it's the only way it can get wet. You lean it over to flush or I don't know, somehow. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Something. So Hit it with a blow dryer if it gets wet. Don't put it in rice because it, it won't dry it fast enough. But yeah, it's that simple to use, hopefully. But I, you know, especially elderly people still kind of struggle with. Now, let me back up. If anyone would watch the three minute instruction video, they would have no problem whatsoever ever using it, but nobody does. Right. No one. They get it out of the box, they go start like this, and then they call me. Like, hey, it's, mine's not doing well. I had a lady just today go, look, I hit play and ain't doing anything. I'm like, well, you're holding the play button. Just click it once. <laughs> now, right before we started this call, I, she texts back, okay, sorry, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's constant. Of just, I'm going to write a book just about the customer experience with people. Of, it, it's a USB-C charger. There's only one place to charge it, right? Okay. You, you, do you remember what an old RCA cable looks like on the back of your TV? Yeah. Somebody shoved one of those in there to try and charge it. Oh, gosh. And like, because I have to do this every time somebody goes, mine's not working. I'm like, don't be offended, please. Shoot a little video for 30 seconds and send it to me so I can see what you're doing. If it's broken, I'll replace it, of course. Right. 99% of the time they're doing something bizarre. They've got it plugged into something weird. I wish this wasn't true half the time. Not half the time about eight times is what I meant to say. They scan the video and the, it's plugged in here, but they don't have it plugged in the wall. Uh, I want to know why it's not charging. I'm like, that because there's no power going through it. <laughs> uh, so, but, so, but the majority of people can grab it to answer your question. It's very simple. I want to design it that it was that simple. If you don't know this, the design criteria on the original stick iPod, yeah, people could use it without instructions. That was the requirement. Right. That's simple of uh, fast forward, rewind, play, pause, volume up, down. Right. 
Well, I tried to do the exact same thing here. So I got close, but uh, there's a few changes we may make in the future, but we'll see that. But it's super easy to use. Way easier to use than a PMF map that's got seven pieces and knobs you got to turn. And, exactly. And I'm a stickler about stuff. I get a handful of people go, are you going to make one that's programmable? No. Why? No. <laughs> I don't want people plugging it in and calling me and not figuring out the software. I don't want any software. So that's why there's no apps. There's nothing to download. Everything's preloaded. There's no oh, very nice. Yeah. So it's a complete standalone device. It done it. Bluetooth interface. The first device, Bluetooth to your phone. I gave up on that one because it was too hard for people to, because what would happen, it's using sound, the mm -hmm. Bluetooth connection, of, it's using speaker, not sound. So when somebody would get a phone call or a text with a ding, it would disconnect. Oh, I see. Okay. It's like you're in your car and you're listening to a Bluetooth speaker and you get a phone call, this music stops. Yes. So that would do that to them and then they didn't know it stops. Anyway, we killed that product and we moved to this one last year or so. Yeah, how how many times would you suggest using it? Like how many times daily should you suggest using it? What I started with was naively assuming people had one ailment and I used, I said three to four times a week minimum for a month. And if it doesn't help you after that, then it's probably not gonna. And I based that on the clinical data, which is how many times did you go to the doctor's office before the doctor goes, this ain't working? or we got that diagnosis wrong. So that's what my original recommendation was and still is three to four times. Now, I believe your body needs rest to use the energy between sessions, but I have people obsessed that are running eight hours a day, running everything. It's like, I tell them not to do that, but I got enough data now to know nobody, nobody's overdosed. Yeah. Like, you get people that are, I have one friend that was next race, is an next race car driver. He's, you know, been, he has four concussions. He's been on fire twice. Oh, wow. He's running back pain, neck pain, trauma constantly. He's bought 15 of them. Oh, wow. <laughs> Given some away to friends and stuff, but he has multiple ones around the house. So yeah. that's a question three to four times a week. But what I found out, and this is what I put in my marketing lectures to my marketing buddies, who every single one of them told me, only try and sell one ailment. Nobody will believe it can do more than one. Yeah, okay. I kind of believe you. That's why I concentrate on PTSD, but everyone buys it because it's more than one. Yeah. Because nobody's got one thing wrong with them. No. Nine. There's I made up a term called diabiological syndrome. And people go, what is that? DIA. Depression, insomnia, anxiety. Nobody's got one of those. You're either depressed because you can't sleep, or you can't sleep because you're depressed, or you're anxious because you're depressed, right? So yeah. most people and so that's what a lot of people are like running three or four. And then sometimes a customer will go, I don't know if it's working, but and they get confused. I go, what are you running? And they tell, show me 14 of them. I'm like, stop, go back to whatever your biggest problem is. Do that once a day, maybe for two weeks and see if you see a difference. Right. right. And that is a, with all of them, that's probably one of the biggest challenges is when people say it doesn't help them. It did. They just forgot how bad they felt. Yeah. It's a huge with the P back to the PTSD, 95% success rate, two out of three clinically and statistically significant. Half of those people will tell me, yeah, I'm not sure if it helped me or not. I'm like, really? So I have a report card that says you were a 72 30 days ago. Today you're a 12. Wow. They start crying. So I get them on a Zoom call to see if I can use the video clip. They never let me. Except right. For yeah. Yeah. They start crying because they don't remember how bad they felt. So I've got, I've talked to psychiatrists about it and my friends that are doctors and a bunch of other people. And they're like, yeah, Mark, that's true of every therapy in the world. My friend I've known since kindergarten is a chiropractor here in town. He's like, Mark, when I get a new patient, I videotape every one of them. They come in on a walker. The yeah. next session, they come in with a cane. The next session, they come in with a lap dog <laughs> and they'll go, well, I could always do this. No, you couldn't. Right. I'm so you couldn't even move your arm and people just forget. Plus, I don't want to get like in the Schwarzenegger race in your brain. It's trying, <laughs> the PTSD is going after the fight or flight stuff and trying to minimize yeah. memory of bad stuff. So you are going to forget some right. of it. And I've had, unfortunately, a few customers send it back, tell me it didn't work. And then they buy another one. <laughs> it was working apparently because I feel worse. So yeah. 
and I buy another one back. So that's the only downside to it is trying to manage that part of, or if it doesn't work, 98% of the time, it doesn't work. It's never going to be a hundred. Right. So it didn't work for me. It's always two things. You didn't use it. You're lying to me. You used it once and put it on the shelf or you're not hydrated or both. Mm -hmm. Right. So it resonates. We believe it resonates with the water in your body. Oh, I see. Because a magnetic field isn't strong enough to go from here to my foot. Not this magnetic field, right? But it still makes gout disappear in your foot when it's in your top pocket. Oh, wow. And we know if you're not hydrated, it doesn't work as well. So right. when people ask me, how can it be as good as a mat that you're laying on? That's why. It's resonating with the water in your body. Think of a pebble in a pond. Yes. It's a pebble, it's going to make energy at one point, but then it moves on a mechanical wave. Mm -hmm. and your body is electrically conducted. So a magnetic field makes a small electric current that also travels through your body. So that's how it's, I believe, is getting to the rest of the body. And it is. And like for PTSD, PTSD is in every part of your brain, every part of your body, every organ. So where would you put it? Right. Now, the challenge today is all the cranky old 75-year-old guys are, where do I put it for prostate? Well, put it in your pant line uh, by your belly button. That's the closest I think you want to get without getting weird. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what, that's what most of them are doing. Just put it in your pant line on the belly button. So. Uh, oh, that's so funny. Now, um, how long should a person do it? Like, so you, you have them do it like once a day. So how, how long should the time limit, should they have it on for? Exactly as long as the protocol is. Okay. So the protocols go from 30 minutes to PTSD is a long one. It's two and a half hours. It's actually two hours and 38 minutes because I added some stuff on the latest version. Oh, okay. But you have to run the whole thing. It's the analogy to doctors is... When you take your antibiotics, they all tell you finish the bottle, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. so sleep is 47 minutes long. People call me and go, it's not working for me. I ran for sleep for five minutes last night and it didn't do anything. And it's not going to. Right. Because it's not one important distinction from this device and the ones in the market. Most of them are going to be running a scan of some frequencies. This yeah. one's got frequency pairs that are changing every one to four minutes. Wow. So PTSD is going through 76 different targets. So it's going for this part of the brain, that part of the brain, that part, then your liver, then your heart. So if you stop at halfway, you just missed half your body. Oh, wow. Sleep's not going to work because it's doing the same thing. I think sleep's going through, I'm guessing right now, but like 17 pairs of, of protocol. So you have to finish the whole thing. You can pause it, right? And I, I now recommend for sleep, don't put it in your pillow. I, I knocked one on the floor last night because I was running something else. But right. run it the hour before bed. You go okay. to bed. That and makes sense. In your pocket at nine. I Some people like the lanyard and stuff that comes with it. I just put my pocket and you don't even know it's there, right? Right. Kind of forget about it. And that's the easiest way to, to use it. But yeah, that's how long the protocols are. The average is about 40 minutes. Wow. That's, this is amazing. This is amazing. Now, where can people find this product? Well, we have a landing page specifically for your listeners. It'll be a uh, rizona.health forward slash something. What do you want to call it? We could call it um, the advisor. The what? The advisor, the advisor. We'll do that. The so rizona.health, there's no.com. Rizona.health forward slash advisor or you can give my email address and stuff and just say, hey, I don't remember the domain. Where is it? And I, I came from this podcast and I'll just point in the right direction. But what we'll put on the landing page is just um, more information about it. There's tons and tons and tons of videos and stuff and look, all kinds of things. And then we'll give them, they, they retail for $399 and for like your guests, we'll give them $150 off. For oh, holiday. excellent. That's amazing. Just put that on the page. We'll have the little coupon and stuff there that'll load for them automatically. So. Okay. And also if you had to give people some tips and some techniques, like if, if you, what are some important factors from this conversation that you want people to know? And I, I think one thing we have to realize that, you know, just because you have a condition doesn't mean it's, it, it can't be curable, that there are healthy ways and there are, there are things out there that can, can cure conditions naturally. And, and this is one of them. So what would be like a takeaway, maybe two or three takeaways that you'd like to give the audience? I mentioned one already, which is no bozone. So keep an open mind. You said something earlier about out of the box. It's like, just because you don't understand it all, nobody does. 
-hmm. just give it a try. Like I said, I have a 30 day money back guarantee. You can't, I don't want a single person to have one where it didn't help them. Right. So, right. It's like that, that's one of them too, is super, 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 super non-technical is come up with a routine. You yeah. know where you put it, charge it. What day am I going to do it during lunch? Am I going to do it in the morning while I'm making breakfast for the kids or I'm driving or whatever, which let me make a real quick point right there. First time you use it, if you're using it for pain, don't use it while you're driving or operating a catapult because it can make you stoned. Or oh, really? What happens is if you have severe pain and you instantaneously get rid of that pain, your body releases a ton of endorphins and you're going to get drunk. Wow. I have a back pedal here and sit in my chair. So that that's one caution for pain. Um, to just the first couple times you do it, don't be doing something dangerous until you know what your body's going to do. But just yeah. keep an open mind. Um, give it a try mm -hmm. and just come up with a routine so that you're drinking water mm -hmm. four glasses in the four hours before session ideally it'll still work without it don't right. be like the one guy that told me oh i'm i'm hydrated mark i go how much water i'm hydrated mark how much water do you drink a day he goes i don't drink water go, <laughs> like, why do you think you're hydrated he, this is his answer you can't make this up I had a protein drink last week. That was his answer. So drink water, which you should be doing anyway. Use it three to four times a week, right? And just give it a try and see if it works. And the other tip is like, I'm here, contact me and stuff. I'm constantly answering. There's people will say, it didn't do this, it didn't do that. And I'm like, try this, right? Right. Some, some simple stuff. It's like, show me what you're doing. It's like, I had one lady last week had the power level of zero instead of 10. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to work at zero. So turn it back to 10. Now, now she's like, oh, this thing's amazing. Like, okay, right. <laughs> it is when you <laughs> that. But yeah, that, that's just, the simplest thing is kind of get in a routine a little bit. So you're actually giving it a fair trial. Don't be, right. the, don't be this guy on Facebook. I bought it for prostate and it didn't help at all. I want my money back. And I'm like, hey, Paul, obviously you can have a refund. But since you bought it two days ago and it hasn't, <laughs> Hasn't been delivered till tomorrow. You're not giving it a fair chance. <laughs> Who's doing? So he posted that. They hadn't even got it delivered yet in the mail. So yeah, just those are just simple tips is give it a shot. It's easy. Um, most people that come to this technology, you know, is they, they've, they've tried other stuff. They don't want to do drugs, right? Yeah. They've had surgeries. They've done other things. And for PTSD, they're unhappy. Maybe it's worked or EMRDI when they're moving the fingers. You yeah. Know, just give it a try, see if, see if it works. And I, all, for all the Facebook haters, I, and I make this point again, I do not want a single person to have one that paid for it if it didn't help them. Right. I don't need that in my life. Mm -hmm. right? Send it back, I'll give you your refund. Right. I, don't, I donate the majority of them that I get back to the military. So there's no big loss there. Yeah. I think this is a, a wonderful product. This sounds amazing. And, uh, you know, it, it sounds like you're having a great success rate with the people that are using it. We, we are. Um, there's some stuff like varicose veins that I don't have a ton of data on. I wish I had more on asthma because I've seen some miraculous things. Um, addiction, we're getting some. I've had customers come to me and say, hey, 417 hertz is, I don't know, you could edit this part out if you want. <laughs> This guy goes to me, what, what, what are you talking about? He goes, well, I'm, I was super addicted to cocaine and strip clubs. I ran 417 for a week. I don't want either one of them. Now it's three months ago. And I'm like, and he still feels the same. I'm like, okay, didn't know that. Right. So I go back and I start researching that frequency and yeah, it cleans up DNA and recalibrates some things. And I'm like, okay. So there's a lot of cool stuff like out there still to come that I hopefully get more and more data on. Yeah. Get people to give me feedback and and more and more videos and stuff of yeah it worked for me and here's why so it's exciting it's fun it's it's the most fun i've ever had in a job yeah well if i call it a job till i make a little money but sort of <laughs> well you know it's it's nice because you're helping people you know you're actually you're you're helping people and you're changing people's lives for the better so that that's amazing in itself Last to that you said people just because so i tell you what my sinister plan is okay mm -hmm dogs right so yeah. the other half of the world is for people and pets and so we have it's like five we have 
dog bandanas that have the custom made to have a pocket. Oh, how cool is that? And your dog just wears it like that, and then your dog looks cool. We have paw print ones, and I find a paw print one real quick. Uh, because this is more common when the people are buying. It looks like yeah. That. Oh, but wow. If you got one second, I'll show you one other thing. Yeah, yeah. please do. I don't have any shoes on. So you listen, I have an earthy mat. That's why I don't have any shoes on. Uh, These are called shoe fly leggings for horses. Oh, wow. Flies, I didn't make these, but it keeps the flies off their legs. But we're going to, starting tonight, we're going to start testing, putting this in there for a horse. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Lax and balance and anxiety and those type of things. So we'll see. So it's fun doing that kind of stuff. So yeah, dogs and horses. We have protocols for kidney failure and cats and stuff. I have a couple of friends that have cats. That the thing, the cat will cry if you take it away from them. Oh wow! Dogs and cats, they know. They will tell you if it's working. Yeah. So they'll, it and they'll lay next to it and stuff. It's it's kind of weird to watch. Well, they, they know when things are working and they want more of it when they know it's working. I, I had a I had a dog that was bit by a tick and he got Lyme's disease. And after the Lyme's disease came about, he couldn't walk up the stairs anymore. And so I was giving him natural supplements and it was helping him. And he would actually come to me and, and want more of it because he knew it was making him feel better. So he would sit there and he would, you know, other... You know, if I gave him anything else, he would fight me if I gave, tried to give him a pill or something that the vet gave me. But for those supplements, he knew it worked and he would sit there and he would take it because he knew it made him feel better. The pet owners tell me, they go, how am I going to force my dog to drink enough water? I'm like, you don't have to because they're smarter than people. Yeah. It's not restricting their water. Like people, some restrict the water so they don't pee. Right. If you got a bowl down there 24 seven, they will drink the exact amount of water they need. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> smarter than us. They, they do it. You know, humans don't. But and where's your website located? Can you tell everybody your website? Yeah, it's rizona.health, R E S O N A dot health. But we'll have them go to the forward slash one that we just described because that'll be summer. But yeah, rizona.health, or they can just Google rizona.health. Rizona, rizonahealth.com, I do have now too, mm -hmm. uh, which will redirect to it. But rizona.health is the primary website. Okay. And you had mentioned that you have written books in the past. Now, if anyone was interested in learning a little about, you know, the, the books and about energy, where could they go to find those books? Just on the website under shop. Um, the book's $24.95. I have it on sale right now for $9.95. It's an ebook. So that's the first place that I would start. Um, okay. I wrote a book on a couple books on creative thinking for businesses, but for this audience, yeah, that you know, what in the world are we doing to our health is the best place to start. And it's an easy read. It's, I tried to make it fun. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's, I love that title too. What the hell are we doing with our health? <laughs> I love it. What in the world are we doing with our health? And when I mean, Jeffrey told me that, I'm like, well, yeah, that, that's a better title than my resonance frequency therapy for sure. <laughs> I, you know, I, I can't thank you enough for being on the show. This has been a wonderful experience. I've learned so much and, you know, I, I've always, you know, have been into energy and, and everything the you know, how strong, you know, the energy factor in our lives, how, how much it can change a person's life and what it does to our world. And, you know, I think you, you brought up so many factors to, to show people how, productive energy healing can be and how you know just by having frequencies different energy frequencies we could heal ourselves we could heal our body we could heal we can heal our, our pets who we love so much you know and and there's lots of other things out there that we we probably haven't even touched base yet that it's able to do for us so this has been a, a whirlwind of knowledge and a great experience thank you so much mark for coming on the show Thank you so much for having me. It was, it was super fun. Yeah, thank you. And I hope to see you soon because I'd love to learn more. And this has been a great experience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.